Okay, we're back. This is Dave Vellante, and this is The Cube, where we bring you the best guests that we can find. We extract the signal from the noise. We're here at 590 Madison Avenue. This is IBM's big Flash Ahead announcement. They've announced a billion dollar investment in Flash. Uh, I, I believe that includes uh, the TMS acquisition. We'll ask Steve Mills that. Also, uh, IBM's announcing a number of competency centers to help customers adopt Flash and make the most use of it. And of course, they've rebranded the Texas Memory Systems, uh, the uh, uh, Flash system. Uh, to fit into the IBM blue branding. So, and we're here with Bob Bruce of Vion, Vion Corporation. Uh, Vion is a, a company that sells into the government and some of the more interesting use cases in the world. Bob, thanks very much for coming on. Thank you. Yeah, so um, let's talk a little bit more about how your clients are transforming their storage infrastructure, their IT infrastructure, and specifically how they're using Flash. Uh, most of our most of our current customers of Flash are in the uh, intelligence community and are uh, uh, looking for for technology enablers to help them process more data faster uh, to uh, to do their job basically. Yeah. So um, tell me a little bit more about Vion. What's the unique you know value that you bring to the to the marketplace, and how do you guys differentiate? We are a a. Uh, uh, mid-level systems integrator with no, no ties. We're a, a trusted advisor to the government. We don't, we're not tied to a particular vendor or, ma or manufacturer for disk products, server products, network products, etc. cetera. Uh, we tend to focus on the enterprise, uh, the larger systems environment, uh, the intelligence community being one of them. Uh, so we don't bring any, any biases uh, to to providing solutions to the government, so and I think that's a that's a differentiator where most of the most of our competitors are really reselling one brand and one brand only. Okay, so so you truly are independent. You, we are. From your standpoint, you don't care. You just want to bring in the best solution for the yes, customer. Right. Do your do your clients sometimes drag you into solutions, or do they not care? Oh, sure. They, uh, in fact, our relationship with Texas Memory was was founded upon. Uh, conversation one of our very good customers had with the Texas memory rep at a uh, conference and uh, he subsequently came uh, he was having an issue with Oracle performance he came uh, back to Vion uh, the cus our customer did with Texas memory and said I'm gonna buy this from Vion and Vion's going to uh, uh, maintain this system for me and that was uh, that's how it all started in 2004 and we've we've sold a lot of Texas memory into various applications, uh, most of them because of performance uh, issues with re uh, normal storage. So your response to that request was okay? <laughs> sure, sure, we don't, we, we're do customer that. first, that's, yeah. what, uh, that's so what we're all about. So you mentioned a, a customer has a problem with Oracle performance, a lot of people do, I mean, a lot of people in any database, not, not picking on Oracle, right. even though sometimes I love to pick on Oracle, but you know, it's Likewise. a database, right? And so um, we saw uh, Steve Mills present some data today, and I loved it, not only because it was Wikibon data, but because it just showed the impact of Flash, because most databases are, are priced to cores. So right. if you can optimize the entire infrastructure and balance it out, you actually need less cores, which fewer means cores, you, right. you need less, fewer database licenses. Are you seeing that in the field? Yes, we, we present that uh, with Texas Memory uh, prior to now uh, as, as a reason to, uh, to look at Texas Memory as as alleviating uh, performance pressure primarily, but also the cost benefit of it. Right, so um, we also, uh, last night at dinner, we were talking a little bit about uh, big data analytics. I mean, to me, Google and the, the government kind of really got us into that whole world. Mm -hmm. um, and we see the potential, and I wonder if you can sort of share your thoughts on this, the potential to bring sort of transaction systems, you know, structured data and a lot of uh, analytical systems together, um, and, and, and Flash seems to be an enabler to do that because of the performance characteristics. Are you seeing that? Is that happening well, today, or the, is that more of the future? The, the predominantly, the, the performance is driving them towards, towards Flash, and the, the more data you can put into your uh, analytics, you know, if, if, you're, if you're basing your analytics on a sampling of a hundred transactions as opposed to a million transactions, your, your answer is going to be much different, and, and, but you need speed on that. Uh, 
you know, time to market is, is, is an uh, actionability of data is going to be very important in that. Yeah, so this is actually a really important point you're making, is, is the, the world, we've li world, lived in a world of sampling when it gets into statistics, sure. right? And sure. so, as a result, our, uh, our, the variance of, 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 of accuracy is, you know, so there's some variance, there's some confidence interval. Uh, as you are able to load more data into the system, um, two things happen, I guess, with sampling sort of, you know, either gets much, much bigger or even dies because you can operate in the entire data set and then the accuracy of your information. It's much better. Much, much better. So talk and, about and, that a little and bit. And quicker. And, and it, really, it really came out as uh, catching bad guys uh, and having uh, uh, information that is current because people tend to move around. It's these What's happened now is uh, you look at Medicare and Medicaid fraud. Uh, it's another huge example of using uh, big data analytics to find out where the fraudulent checks are going and who's, who's behind it, and then tracking them down and closing them down. I mean, that's happening every day. Obviously, you work in the single most security conscious business in the or, or industry in the world. How does Flash, or does Flash, play into, and in, in, in even big data, play into improved security? Well, it, there's two types of security. One, one you, you talk about physical security, which is to, to catch bad guys and, and, and track down uh, bad guys. And then the other security, which is cybersecurity, things like that. It's no, it's no secret that the numbers of attacks and or, or, or that, are, that the bad guys are trying are, are going up exponentially, and, and you know we're tracking all that. People are tracking all that data and trying to find the source of it. And the more samplings you get, the better you are at finding the source. Yeah. So Flash enables you to put more data. More into data. The system. Yeah. You, you you could not do this with technology five years old. So. As well. So, so I mean, as, as far as we've come as an industry, it just like, seems like the technology business just doesn't stop. So where do you see this, this going? Break out your, your binoculars for a minute and share with us your vision. It'll go from highly specialized pinpoint applications to more, everybody will have access to this, this capability when you open your business as a small mom and pop shop rather than spending millions of dollars on it, which people are having to do now when it's new technology, and, and uh, it'll, it'll create a whole new business of uh, 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 flash specialists, flash doctors, if they call them uh, data doctors or whatever. Yeah. Anyway, it'll, it'll create a whole new you know, business of uh, how best to use this technology, and we, we haven't thought of how that's, what that will be yet. So we're seeing government again reassert its lead and, uh, and, and going after bad guys, really uh, innovating in, in big data. Uh, Bob Bruce from Vion, thanks very much for coming Thank on theCUBE. It was great to, great to meet you. Keep it right there. We're right back with our next guest. This is Dave Vellante. This is theCUBE.